Okay, so today I'm gonna do a video about recording uh, drums in MIDI on an electronic drum kit. Alright, so you, what you need is uh, an electronic drum kit and a computer basically and some some studio program to record in <coughs> and uh, we're gonna use uh, the drum program Easy Drummer 2 so f we can open that in standalone mode first just to see that it works you see here it says because I already have the settings correctly so but I'm gonna show you uh, this is the default kit I'm going to audio MIDI setup and I've chosen HO for all and uh, you don't want latency of course so what I do is I make sure that the buffer size is very low so that's the minimum latency there you don't want to hit the drum and then hear it like five seconds after so that's all right and now we should be able to hear if I hit hit a drum it works very good all right so now we have the studio program opened and uh, I'm gonna add Easy Drummer here like that default kit and we're gonna assign the channels to different ones because they're all in one now so I'm gonna Use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's one shot and shaker and shit. I don't need that. Uh, so I'm not gonna use those. I have those in place, and we're going to processing do the same thing one two three four five six seven eight now that's set up I'm gonna open the mixer in the program oh first I'm gonna yeah now I'm going to route this one to channel 1 and those 8 are going to be the drums and create the submix drums like that we go so there you have the snare I'm just sitting by the drum kit here and hitting away oh anyway that's it and now we're going to record MIDI so how do we do that that's a good question uh, basically when it when I hit record here it asks the question if I want to record audio or audio <laughs> and I don't want to do that but I have this automation and score which means MIDI in this program apparently so if I hit that one 
I can record MIDI. If I record audio, I just get like a sound wave and I can't do much with that because I want to be able to edit and change the drum kit afterwards. So that's why I want to record MIDI and that's why MIDI is a good idea when you're... Okay, so let's record something. Okay, so let's see what we've done. All these uh, little dots here are the drum hits. And depending on what I hit, uh, this for example is the kick drum, and this is the snare. This is a tom, hi-hat, and so on. Let's uh, listen to it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Now we're gonna listen. To it. Very good. Those last two hits. Uh, I guess we don't need those. <laughs> anyway, so that's good. But <laughs> All right, uh, as you can see here. Um, it's a bit uneven here. I can even out the power of the hits. So now they're basically it's basically the same. happened at the end. I don't need that. Very nice. And uh, if I want another drum kit, I use the default one because uh, it's the one that... Ah! The, one, uh, the default kit is the one that works the best with my ele electronic kit setup because if I used for example this one uh, it has way more drums and then it assigns the drums in a weird way on my kit so I I use the default one and then and then I can uh, like change it to another kit uh, afterwards and kind of uh, clean up where the hits land if you know what I mean well that's the way it is anyway so uh, Meshuga anyway so when I use that kit it sounds like this Now I can uh, rearrange where the sim which symbols I use. 
So if I, for example, move all these hits down here. Okay, sorry, the battery died in the camera, so, eh. but anyway, as I was saying, I moved the symbols down here uh, and accidentally moved some toms, but I moved them back up again. So now I can choose which symbols to use. Uh, it's like I'm just I'm just gonna do this real quickly here. I don't want the same symbols. I don't want the same symbols everywhere. So. Where am I? I don't know what's happening. Doesn't matter. Oops. Just gonna move this shit around a little bit. It's gonna be awesome. So, it's not perfect, but I did this really quickly now and just moved it around a little bit. It's not <laughs> super accurate. Here. But, uh, let's say I wanted another drum kit at the same time, just to make it even cooler. Uh, and I'm just gonna go with the basic here, basic default kit. Then I can copy, let's say I want to uh, have another, another kick drum on top of this one. I'm gonna take those uh, and paste them in here. So now I got the kick drums here with uh, with another on another drum kit. That's cool, right? Can go for the snare as well. Could have done this the same time but Snare hits real loud. Where are you, snare hit? There you are. that's it uh, that's basically it so remember you're recording in MIDI so uh, 
I, yeah, I forgot about this. This is the MIDI settings. Strangely, yeah, now, <laughs> now there's nothing there because I don't have uh, the drum kit connected now. Yes, but here I chose uh, one port and down here another one. I guess I can show it if I connect it again. Like that. That's the way it looks. So here I chose eDrum MIDI hardware port at port 3. And this is the input eDrum at port 2. Okay, so that's that. Very nice. Eh? Alright. Check out my one man band Apocryphon uh, on Spotify and Bandcamp and a lot of other places. Uh, links are in the description. And these releases are recorded in this way, actually. So that might be interesting for you. And this is this is what I look like in Upper Griffon. I'm sort of a wizard ninja or something. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.